XNY started a business with some investments. After few months, due to heavy losses, both of them doubled their respective investments for a few months and later withdrew the extra investments. Finally, at the end of the year, X received a profit share of Rs. 12,000 out of total profit of 48,000. The next year was a normal year for business with no extra investments by either of the partners, but they take a salary of Rs. 2,800 per month. And Y received the total amount of uh, 53,700 at the year end. Find the total profit of the second year. Now understand guys, in this whole question, in the whole process of two years, the time invested, invested or the investment of both X and Y is for, I mean, the investment of both X and Y is throughout the two years. There has not been a point where X withdrew his investment or Y withdrew his investment. I mean, they've done it, but both of them had, uh, both of them have done it together. You see, they started the business with some investments. After a few months, due to heavy losses, both of them doubled their respective investments for a few months and later withdrew the extra investments. So there has never been a point where, you know, X was not a part of the business or Y was not a part of the business. They were there throughout the period, which means time of investment or duration of investment is not a factor. Is not a factor in this question. You're going to, you're able to follow, which means the time of investment or duration of investment is not going to impact the answer. Which means when he says finally at the end of the year, X received a profit share of 12,000 out of total profit 48,000. See, now, now one thing is clear, if time is not a factor, it means that the profit ratio, profit of X is to profit of Y is purely based on investment of X is to investment of Y. Yes or no? Yes or no? So what does it mean? If you if you look at the question, it says uh, X received a profit of 12,000 out of total profit of 48,000. Which means Y received 36,000. Y got 36,000. 48,000 may two parts are there. I, X got 12,000, remaining 36,000 was obtained by Y. So what is the profit ratio? 12,000 is to 36,000. 12 is to 36 equals to investment of X is to investment of Y, which is nothing but 1 is to 3. 1 is to 3. So basically their profit sharing, profit of X is to profit of Y is equal to 1 is to 3. The ratio is 1 is to 3. I mean, you don't have to do this calculation for that. It's very clearly known from the question itself. If X gets 12,000 and Y gets 36,000, the profits are getting divided in what ratio? 1 is to 3 ratio. Now you look at the remaining part, next part of it. The next year was a normal year for the business with no extra investments by either of the partners, by either of the partners. But they take a salary of 2,800 per month. They take a salary of 2,800 per month and Y received a total amount of 53,700. So let's now talk about the next year. Y dash. What was Y's investment? I mean, what was Y's uh, total income? Y received a total amount of 53,700. 53,700. I can say this 53,700 is equal to 2,800 into 12 plus the profit of Y dash. What is this calculation here? What is this breakup here? We know that they're taking a salary of 2,800 per month. So for 12 months, Y will get 2,800 into 12 plus his profit. So there is a profit and then there is a salary. You're getting it. So out of this 53,000, some part is profit, the remaining part is salary. So how much is salary? 2,812. Remaining part is profit. So from this, I can say the profit of Y, I mean, in the second year, Y dash is equal to 53,700 minus 2,812 is how much? Uh, 33,600? 33,600, which, which comes out to be 20,100. Fifty-three thousand nine hundred minus thirty-three thousand six hundred is equal to twenty thousand one hundred. This is what profit of Y. We know that profit of X dash by profit of Y dash should be in what ratio? One is three ratio. So this ratio is going to continue next year also, because profit is based on what investments. Profit is based on investments. So this ratio will continue the next year as well. Yes or no? Next year also the ratio will remain same. But it says that first they will take their salaries. After the after that, whatever is the amount left will be divided in the respective ratio. So one is three ratio. So from this, can I say the profit of X dash is equal to profit of Y dash by three, which is nothing but 20,100 by three. Yes. How much is that? Uh, I think 6,000 and 2,100 by three, 700. 6,700. Yes or no? So profit of Y is 20,100. Profit of X is 6,700. Where in the second year? What is he asking us to find out? Total profit of second year. 
total profit of second year. Tell me what is going to be the total profit of second year? Total profit of second year will be equal to X's profit which is 6,700 plus Y's profit which is 20,100 plus their salaries. What are their salaries? 2,800 per month into 12 months into 2 because there are 2 persons. See 2,800 into 12 was the salary of Y alone. Salary of X also is 2,800 into 12. Which is nothing but 33,600. You've already calculated. So 33,600 into 2. Because there are 2 persons there. So the total profit in the next year is going to be profit of X plus profit of Y plus the salaries that they have taken. So I think 2,800 into 12 is 33,600 which we have already calculated. Into 2 will give us 67,200. So this is 67,200 plus 20,100 is uh, 87,300 plus 6,700 is 88,000 and 6,000, 94,000. So this comes out to be 94,000. 6,700 X profit, 20,100 Y's profit, 67,200 is total salary. So 94,000 is the total profit for second year, which is option B.